Hi traders, today we're having a look at full Mew gameplay. Now this is posted by at Alchico Eevee. Their links will be linked down below. I'm very excited to see how Mew works, what it fully does. And Mew is going to be out in a few hours now. So be prepared for that. I will have videos of that as well. So feel free to subscribe to the bell to be notified for that. Okay, let's have a look. So I will give you a quick rundown of what the unique moves do. Um, I'm very curious to see how the basic attacks and stuff work. So with Mew's passive, each time you use a move, you and your nearby ally Pokemon will have movement speed increase, or will have their movement speed increase. And when you reach level 5, you'll have the ability to reset your abilities, which is going to be crazy. You also have like, uh, so with your basic attack, you store like these boosts. And once you have all these boosts in, you can have like a psychic ball of energy. Now to get these boosts, you have to use a move. So we have Alchica AP with Electro Ball and with Coach. So with Coaching, that is a very unique ability to Mew. With Coaching, you move towards an ally Pokemon, you grant them a shield and you increase their basic attack speed. And it's, it's such an interesting move. So I really want to see how it works in game when I use it myself. But like if you use it on an ally that you've used it on already before, the cooldown um, is used. But if you use it on a, an ally, see like here, they use it on Froakie again, the cooldown is re like is used. But if you use it on a Pokemon, like an ally that is not coached, then apparently you just reset the cooldown or something like that. Wait, so what do you do here? He did it, you can see an example of it here. So he goes to, that's the, that's the, that's, is that the, what is that? Is that the special basic attack? What is that? Or is that, is that the special basic attack? When you have all the boost counters. That's so interesting. Okay, so they go towards Froki. So the cooldown is not reset. Uh, the cooldown is not used. And then it goes towards Darulodon. The cooldown is not used. But then it goes to Darulodon again. And then the cooldown is used. So basically, you can just keep going towards your ally like one, two, three, four, five times. Just dashing towards them. That's insane. That gives you so much mobility. That's crazy. So actually, if he's going to reach level five here in a bit. But the coaching move is basically like a way to escape and a way to support your allies. Which is crazy. You can just basically use it multiple times. Now we have agility. So with agility, you have you move quickly in directions. So it's, like it's just like a dash. And you have a maximum of two uses. So you could go dash dash. And then we have solar beam, which is like from Venusaur's basically. But it works a bit differently. I don't think it has like the tick based damage. Um, and based on their health. But yeah, so I'll check it if you will just have the agility now with dash dash. That's insane. I am very, very... There's so much stuff that's happening here. And we now have this like, this icon here, which is like the, uh, the ability resets. This is light screen. Light screen is such an interesting move to me. So light screen, enemies cannot pass through it. And if they do touch it, they will be shoved, so kind of like, maybe like Snorlax is blocked. Yeah, like Snorlax is blocked basically. And your damage and range is increased on the other moves that you, or like the moves that you pick. So Electro Ball, Solar Beam, and I forgot what the other one was. Oh, Surf. So those three moves will have increased damage and increased range with um, Light Screen, which is crazy and your basic attacks too i don't remember don't quote me on that one maybe not your basic attacks i think it's just your moves or it could be your basic attacks i don't really remember but it's kind of like thoth's wall and smite in a, in a, a little bit so surf is basically just like blast voices surf you can move in a direction after using surf as well so that's pretty much the uniqueness of mew i think the coaching one is something that i'm really curious about because you can just dash, dash, dash. But look how much you can just use those moves. They also have like some other gimmicks as well. I don't remember exactly what they were. But you can reduce the cooldown of your Unite move as well. That's the scoring animation. Oh, this is the Unite move. So in the Unite move, Mew is invincible. And if you're inside the field and your allies are as well, you enter stealth. Which means you should be invisible. So you're invincible and you're invisible and after some time enemies who are in that field will take damage so i am 
I am scared. I am very scared for team fights. But it's crazy because this has a 20 second cooldown. I don't know why it's 20. It's a 20 second cooldown to reset. But I remember watching another clip. It was 40 seconds. So I'm wondering if there's like uh, I know when you upgrade abilities and when you use moves and stuff, you can reduce the cooldown of this reset ability. But I'm not 100% sure just yet. That's insane though. So we have Surf. Oh, <laughs> counter Surf. <laughs> Alright, then we got Scoring. I want to see the Unite move so bad. Can Agility Dash Rewards? Probably, right? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know which moves I want to choose. Like, I feel like Solar Beam and Light Screen are going to be really fun to use because it'll have increased range. Maybe you can do it from like a very far away distance. Or like Electro Ball and, and Light Screen. Although, I don't know. How would you like... I guess you aim it in front of you and where the light screen is placed. Agility and Electro Ball. Agility and... I'm trying to think of combinations. So if you have any of your own combinations, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. This is a Unite move. You can move in your Unite move. You can move? Wait. So you can be invincible. And you can be invisible and move your Unite move? That's insane. Wait, that's so strong. So you could keep your allies in stealth. If you move around with your Unite move and your allies are in it. What? Oh, that's that was inside the light screen. I don't know if we can see the increased range yet, but... I really need to see this in a team fight. Like, that sounds crazy. So Mew is like an, a, a supporter attacker, kind of. Like, it feels very supporter attackery. Oh, look, they did... That counts, right? If the shield is in front of it like that, that should count as like... Increased damage and stuff. I feel like I would just run light screen. I feel like lights, light screen or coaching. Coaching it seems really fun. I would probably do coaching and electro ball or coaching and surf. I don't know. It's really hard. Like I can't really think of the combinations you can do. Coaching and like surf. You could go in with your like defenders and stuff if you're tanking up. But like I think Mew is very squishy. The coaching move is so cool. Like it's like an instant teleport. Oh my god! What a what a combo. Okay, so let's. I want to see the unite move. I want to see everyone in stealth. <gasps> Look, they're in stealth. Oh, you can coach towards them. You could stealth, and then you could coach towards them, so you instantly teleport to them. That's so cool. That is so crazy. This team fight is gonna be so scary. You could have them in stealth, but you could probably see. So you can see. Um, Muse Unite move. But look how fast. So I remember um, there was a little gimmick as well. That one of the moves also re reduces your Unite move cooldown. So it's... I want to see when Nachika Eevee gets this back up. Oh, was it your boosted counter I think? Hold on a second. Wait, he uses his, his boosted counter. That's the boosted one, right? No, it wasn't the boosted. I'm trying to remember what it was. That's insane. Imagine having like two solar beams. Imagine having like two Mr. Mimes. <laughs> Imagine two solar beams snipe from each like place. Like you're at Rayquaza and Venusaur's on one side. You're on the other side and you snipe at the same time. That would be crazy. I really like the... Mew is so cool. I really want to use coaching the most. I think... I don't know who to, what to pair it up with. Maybe coaching. I mean, I guess it could work with anything, right? Because you could either use it to go in, or you could use it to like uh, get out and solo me from afar, or get in and surf them into your teammates or something like that. You know what a really cool combination would be if you were like in a duo queue with someone. You could have them play like a defender or a setup that can get behind the enemy. Like just I don't know, just say you're Lakara and you're extreme speed behind the enemy. Then you mew, coach towards them, and surf them into your team. That would be so funny. All right, so we're getting up to the Zapdos fight. We can probably see the um, the unite move. If I've missed anything in this gameplay, feel free to like let me know in the comments down below what you've noticed as well about Mew because we're all trying to learn how Mew works here and Mew's going to be released in a few hours. So I'm trying to get as much information as I can about it so I know what I'm doing when I'm playing. Alright, so that's the light screen. So you do get reduced damage in light screen. Oh, look, everyone's in stealth. Everyone's in stealth. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see this properly. 
Tyranitar is not in stealth, but Gerudon looks like they're in stealth. Okay, now now Tyranitar's in stealth. No, that doesn't no, he's still not in stealth. How does this work? It doesn't look like he's in stealth unless it doesn't tell me properly. But Darulodon's in stealth. Darulodon's not in stealth. Tyranitar's in stealth. Tyranitar's still in stealth. Tyranitar's not in stealth. Greninja's not in stealth. Wait, I just want to know why they're not in stealth. Why are they in stealth now? Like, all of them except Darulodon who's going to exit out of stealth here because he pushes himself back. Like, they're not in stealth. Tyranitar's in stealth. Greninja's not in stealth. How does that work? I'm so confused how this stealth works. Because I have the abilities, and it doesn't say anything about that. Maybe I'm missing something. Yushonis can definitely maybe help me there if you know something that I don't know. But I don't know why they're not in stealth. Right, so we're in close to the end of the game. The light screen solar beam is probably going to be super fun to use, honestly. Just because of the increased range as well. So you could probably hit from very far. Wish I could see like the like how far the range is. But if you use so with light screen, if you use it again, it comes back towards you. And now enemies will take like so you could probably stand behind Mew to take reduced damage, unless it only affects Mew. But I feel like every projectile that goes through that would probably be like, you know. Look how fast the Unite Rift comes back up. Something is triggering that Unite Rift to come back up, and I don't remember what it was. Look! Oh my god, it's scoring! Oh, I know, scoring always does that. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I haven't slept. Okay. <laughs> scoring always does that. <laughs> I made a guide on that. I should know. Um, so I didn't, we're heading to the end of the game here, but that was really fun to watch. I am extremely excited for this Pokemon. Very, very excited. I cannot wait. Thank you to LGK Eevee for posting this, so if we have some... Wait, look, it's, it's gonna do damage. Let's see how much damage it does. <gasps> what? That was a lot of damage. I did not... Well, to be fair, LGK Eevee is level 14 and they're level 11. But... Well, how much was that? 2,550? 2,560. This is, it's still like shook, shook with me. <laughs> You probably want to like, um, oh, you can't escape from that boost, that counter thingo. You probably want to try and get crowd control and keep them in there. Like, keep them in your Unite move. It'd be really funny if you use a Unite move, then surf them into a wall. Now, that would be hilarious for you, not funny for them. But that could be something that could work. Or you could get coaching and try to sit on top of enemies who are CC. So, for example, let's just say, you know what's insane, right? Here's an insane thing you could do. You could probably use your Unite move. And you could probably sit on top of, like, somebody like, I don't know. I, I know people say that Tyranitar is really easy to kite. At least some people do. But when Tyranitar is using his Unite move and he's stomping around and he's really fast, I can't escape him. Especially when I was Blissey in that last gameplay, if you guys watched. <laughs> but, like, if you're somebody who can stay on top of enemies... Like, maybe like Serena, you could just coach towards them and just stay on Serena and then use your Unite move on whoever she's stuck on. Or another example could be like, if you have agility, you could dash towards the enemies while your Unite move pops. Because it'll do all that burst damage. That is an idea as well. Crazy. I am very excited for this Pokemon. I am so excited. <laughs> Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, trainers. And again, I will be making more videos about Mew and today's patch in a few hours so if you're able to subscribe to the bell to be notified for that and yeah i really appreciate you being here and i'll catch you on the next one thank you for watching bye